We're here at Brands Hatch today for the final round of the Enduro car season, which is the IndyCar 500. So at eight hours, 20 minute race. Um, we qualified last night um, and there's a 46 car field. Uh, we qualified 29th, just 1.1 seconds off pole. Um, the race is gonna get underway in about half an hour. So Robin's in the car first. So uh, fingers crossed you can get through the carnage and sort of survive the first hour and a bit. Uh, we're currently uh, P38 uh, with a 115 in the wet. Um, we're hoping that the track's starting to dry out, ready for um, all the other drivers. Um, we've just breached over the hour mark, so uh, another 30 to 40 minutes, and we'll be bringing Robin in um, to put Martin out for Houston. so many emotions in one blooming race ever. It was so intense, so fun, but really scary at the same time. I'm really quite, yeah, I, I don't have many words because I'm quite, quite, a little bit emotional. <laughs> but it was so busy, there's no, no let up anywhere. And you know, you've got people flying past you and I know I'm not the fastest, so they're just coming by, but hopefully I gave everybody room you know, I didn't, I didn't, I did do a little spin, so there may be evidence of that, but I kept it on the track. So yeah, that's gonna take a minute to sink in, that is. It was so intense. I mean, there's just so many cars out there with so little space, um, and it's frustrating in a way. You know, you could be overtaking a car every single lap, and then all it gets on the radio, and you've you know not gained any places. There's just so many cars out there, and the cars that are behind you, you just end up lapping often, um, and it just takes a lot to get anywhere. But so much fun. I mean, who doesn't like two hours of kind of door-to-door -door racing? Um, you know, there was a few hairy moments out there. Um, I locked into Druids and just. Uh, had a slight hit with the car that I was overtaking on the inside. Um, but no, great. I mean, I'm happy that, um, you know, obviously I brought the car back, you know, not too worse for wear. Um, and hopefully now Charles can get out there and make the most of it. Yeah, so it was, it was all going good. I was setting in some good times. Um, it's really, really busy out there. Like pretty, pretty mental, to be honest. It's really intense in places, but where I've got some space, I was able to get my head down. Watching the green, green lights on the, on the V-Box was blinding. And I was just coming into Paddock, I'd let someone pass me because I didn't want to be messing around with people in Paddock. And then obviously I hadn't let him through enough. Going through there, I was, couldn't lift because you just can't lift in paddock, otherwise you're doing something really stupid and I had to go into the back of him. Um, 
hopefully he's okay. There wasn't a safety car afterwards, so I guess he carried on. Um, I'm okay, just a bit annoyed at myself because it was going, it was going quite well. Yeah, so um, an interesting stint full of uh, a lot of safety cars, a lot of yellow flags. Um, quite hard to get into a rhythm. Um, every time you got into a rhythm and felt like you were making progress, there was then another safety car which closed everyone back up. A bit of rain at the start. Um, it started to get really slippy, particularly at clearways. Um, and that again was pretty interesting. People going off the circuit left, right and centre. Apparently I missed a yellow flag coming down to Graham Hill out of Druids, one lap. So if you're in a pack and the yellow flag comes out, it's sometimes difficult to know who's where. Um, but yeah, overall, very challenging, um, incredibly intense, uh, good fun. <laughs> so we've just done our uh, final stop, so we have Will in the car now. Um, we did have a comms problem, so we've put a new radio in, um, and also we thought we had a stop-go penalty. Um, turns out uh, it wasn't us, so we've got no penalty, so we'll be doing the last hour and 40 of the race um, to try and get us back up to uh, a higher position. We're currently in P26, um, so there are some spaces to gain before the end of the race, so hopefully we can have a strong finish to the year. P19 at the end, so yeah, it was good. It's a bit difficult. Um, it's the first time I've driven in the dark properly, so uh, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. And there was uh, there's just so many cars out there, so much traffic. But yeah, it's a great result in the end. We finished P19. Yeah, a few incidents. Uh, had a car turn across the front of me going into 30s, which, to be honest, I thought we were getting trouble for. But uh, and then um, the last couple of laps, I was pushing it probably a bit too hard and had a bit of a half spin going into paddock, which was. Um, Scary. I think I flat spotted all of the tyres, so the last couple of laps were horrible. But yeah, please bring it home. Have you enjoyed your season? Loved it. Loved absolutely every second. Definitely coming back next year.